Welcome back to the channel. Today's flight will be with Michael. We will revisit his ability to respond to impending wing stalls. An understanding pre-stall conditions and the appropriate recovery technique is the mastery required for a pilot to remain safe at all times. Then the next aspect we tackle is engine failures from height. This process is new to Michael and we will share his newfound learning experiences. The ability to successfully land after an engine failure is, for me, the most important flying skill a qualified pilot can have. When I test piloting skills for both students and those doing their biannual flight review, I always view this from the point of, would I put my grandchildren in the cockpit with you and be assured that your skills would ensure a safe, a safe outcome? Michael does a good job with his first attempt, so come with us and enjoy the lesson. That's better. That's better. That's better. Just so long as you know, we haven't done this one before. Yeah. Zero five, there's nowhere to go. Yeah. Right. So first of all, I'll never pull an engine failure for you to practice with on zero five. Okay. But that tells you that if we do have an engine failure, it will be real. Yep. And you'll give me control. Yep. No question about that. Okay. okay. No worries. So, so flaps are set. Fuel pump is on. Carver heat green, green, and green. Good to go. Okay. A call of traffic Jabiru 7693, lined up and rolling at runway 05 for straight out departure to the north, climbing to 3500 Gora. I will go left for the, the freeway. Yep. Just follow the freeway around. That's the only place we can go at the moment if we have an engine fire. Pitch it up for 17 knots, you can climb a bit more. So now you've got to think about what happens if an engine failure now, I'd be going straight ahead. So start to pre-plan, yep. where would I go if? Straight, straight ahead. Point. Yep. On the highways here, we could always land on it if we had to. Yep. But I can see straight away, nothing to the right, all houses, undulating right. hills. But, but if you just drop your nose a minute, have a look. Plenty of paddocks now, look at yeah. that. So think about today's a hot day, isn't it? It is, yeah. So an air-cooled engine, what do you have to think about? Uh, keeping the engine cool, so I'll drop the nose every now and again. Correct. And for two reasons, A, to let the engine cool, you bring the power back when you do that. Attitude power trim. And then basically just sit it there and have a look underneath because you want to see if there's anyone underneath you. We don't know. Yeah. And just sit here for a little while. Let it cool down a bit. Tomorrow, I mean, at 35 degrees, I wouldn't fly. Too hot. Yep. With an air-cooled engine. I could feel the difference. It, was it is, de is density the correct wording? Yeah, Because she density. just wouldn't take off. She no. was like this. Yep. The hotter the day, the less lift you've got. So the plan today, as we discussed beforehand, is we always want to make sure that stall recovery is an instinctive thing for you. Yep. yep. Um, so we just do some quick recoveries out here. Um, we can think about if you want, as we're going there, what's the check we need to use? Hell check. Okay. So just height go. first. So what height we're going to climb uh, to? 3,500. Safe, yes. Um, engine, uh, engine with green, green, green. No, don't just stop. Is it green? Just make sure it is green. Yep. Green, green, That's and better. green. Yep. Uh, location? Are Make we sure we're not over house. Over house. And we do a lookout, so we do we do a little turn. That's right, to make sure behind us is also. Things like the dust also gives you an indication of uh, wind direction. Wind direction. Yep. What else could you use if there was not all out here at the same time, but there are other, what other wind direction for engine failures could we think about? Uh, how would you know there's a wind out there at all? Well, if you had some clouds. Clouds moving cloud, on, you can cloud, see the shadows on the ground. Yeah, maybe Depends. trees, you can see the trees. No, you maybe can't see. Maybe too far right, yeah. You can't see trees, they don't work. Um, if there's a crop, you can actually see the wind blowing through the crop. Ah, oh, yes. You see it like waving, that's another way you can tell for an engine boat. Um, 
Don't fall for the trick because there's clouds that the clouds are moving the same way as the air you're in. Yeah. If they're lower down, they're generally a good indicator. Yep. Higher up they're not indicating at all. Yep. They're just they could be going a completely different way. Yep. Yep. Smoke. Smoke, yep. Looking for a fire. Ripples on the water. So there's a big see over there, there's a big uh, over by the big star, there's a big uh, couple of dams. You can see the water you can see ah, the ripples. Yeah. Yep. So here we are. We're not climbing. So we just pitch it up a little bit, you'd be amazed. It's because it's a hot day. Yeah. Hot of the day, now we're coming up 500 foot a minute. Okay, so, so have a look at your dam. Yeah, not moving. So there's not much wind. So no. you most probably can pick any paddock you want, right? So now we've got to, what was the last letter we had to check out on before we do stall recovery? Uh, we have to do a lookout. So how are you going to do that? So I'll do a lookout once we've climbed to 3.5, then I'll just yep. do a little bit of a turn. Okay. It's called a clearing turn. Clearing turn, yeah. Just making sure there's nothing in your way. That's about right there, that's enough. Traffic Gawler, this is Fox Bat 2879, turning downwind, runway 05, for a touch and go, Gawler. Okay. I'll just do a lookout turn to the left. Yep. You can look to the right, yeah. Right. You can have a look to the right, would be it. good. Do we have to do a full 360? No, at least a 180 so you can yeah. see, see what's behind us. Tell me, what indications would there be that a stall was impending? Uh, what, low, what, what other things you can get? Uh, lo uh, low air speed? No. You can uh, stall at any speed. Okay. So that's not going to help you? But it, it, it will stall at low speed, yes. Okay. But that's not the only indicator. So I imagine my uh, my angle of attack. Yeah. How would you know your angle of attack? Well, if I'm going, if I'm slow and I've, I've got the nose too high, then I'm in a stall. Well, my stall warning will go off. Well, my control just from your control. Just to, to demonstrate, that's not really the answer. Yeah. I'm just going to jerk it quickly. Don't jump, all right? So you tell me if we've stalled. We've stalled. Yeah. No, we haven't. We we've haven't fallen out of the sky, have we? We're about to. So it's got nothing to do with what the nose position is in relation to the horizon. Yep. That's the first thing. So we could fly along where we've got power here. We could fly along like this happily for hours. Yeah. Yep. We ran out of fuel, right? Yep. So it's not the nose position yep. in relation to the horizon. It's the angle of attack to the oncoming airflow. That's all it is. So again, let's get some power. I'm just going to jerk it quickly. So just for this moment, we're doing 80 knots. In fact, we'll get faster. You tell me, did we stall? No. So therefore, it's not that picture, is it? No. It's no. got to do with understanding the re your relationship of the wings to the oncoming airflow. Yeah. Okay. So okay, so we've got that picture settled. So the next one says, what are the physical characteristics of the aircraft that would give me a clue that we might be about to stall? Oh, it can be a, a wing, a wing drop. Yeah. Yeah. Could oh. do, it, it will, if we drop a wing and do nothing about yeah. it. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. But there's more, more to. Uh. Okay. Let's. I know you started an exam, so I know you're yeah. tired, and yeah. I, I respect that. But okay, let's just come with me here for a while. We're going to slide all thing down here. Your controls. My controls. Your controls. We're going to come back. To, oh, half flat will do for now. Come back about 60 knots. Now. Just out of interest, use your rudder, just slowly. Is it working as well as it used to? No, it's sloppy. A bit okay, more let's sloppy. pitch it up a bit more. Get the power back a bit more. Now use your rudder. Ah. So is that telling you Very you're not stalling yet? No. But we could. We're getting closer, aren't we? Yeah. So sloppy control... Very true. ...is another one. Now use your ailerons. So don't use your feet for a minute. They still work a bit better than the rudder. Yeah. But still sloppy. It's sloppy, yeah. Right? The last one, or well, another one, is the sound of the engine. Yep. Doesn't sound right to me. Like it's going too slow. Yep. Unless you're on final. Yep. For some reason. So that's another indicator. Yep. And the and last one. This is Fox Bad 2879, turning downwind, runway when, 05. When you're coming in land, you're still in control. Traffic caller. So when you're coming in land and you're doing, six, here we are, 63 knots. Okay? Now start to bring the stick back as if you're in the flare. Feel the tension up here? Yeah, yeah. So that tension there, 
We're not going to stall. That's that tension there is saying, I'm making it stall. So how do you fix it? Undo it. So yeah. the tension in your arm is another clue, vital clue, that we're getting close to a stall. Absolutely. Because yeah. a stall warning may not be working. Yeah, no, that's very good. In fact, what I picked up from that, it, it's almost a, rather than explain, it's a feel thing. I, I totally the feel. aircraft feels. Yep. Let's get the pad flaps up, nose up. Power up again, we'll go to 3,500. We're too low now. Do a climbing turn left or right, I don't mind which way you go. Have a, clear, have a look out there before you turn. Good. That loop, and that off there. So now what I want you to, as an instructor, as an examiner, I would say to you, in your own time, put yourself into a stalling situation and recover from it. Okay. So what would you do? Just talk it out loud. I'd go power back. So do that. Ne never do it with full power. Power all the way back and lift the nose. Okay, I'll pull it back. So now we're simulating coming in land, aren't we? So we'd have our flaps down. Car the heat on. Yeah, good. Fuel pump still on, that's good. So there we are coming in land and we get distracted. So we bring the power all the way back and we pitch up. Pitch, 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 wait for that, Scott. There's the warning, what are you going to do? Fly away. Don't come down anymore, just enough. Good, you lost 50 feet. Put the car meter away. Oh, I'm well, okay. Good, that's the reaction. That's it. Yeah. I can do one more just so I'm happy. Just get the engine slow, stop down first. Don't even think of it, no rush this. Power all the way back, all the way back, all the way back. Flaps again, we've got the flaps still, that's good. And we're coming land, pitching up, pitching up, getting distracted. Back to there it is, fix it. Power away. That's good, you're holding it there. Here comes the second rear one. Good, hold it there. Happy landing position. Can I beat away? Now, my controls just for a minute. Your controls. Well done. Okay. So, that's all it takes. And some aircraft... Go all over, about 2879, clear of all runways. Some aircraft don't have a stall warning. None at all. Yeah. So, how are we going to know? They're going to know because this is not working. The rudder's not working. Overhead dollar down about 2,200 feet. Dollar. We'll come around this one. He's over there. Down will be circuit area time, one, two, score. So again, I'm not going to make a big fall out in the air. I'm going to put us into a very steep turn to simulate a wing drop at the beginning of a spin, yeah. which is not going to spin. Yeah. Okay. What I want you to do, hands on the control. And when I tell you to, I want you to take control and fix it. Yep. Okay. So we just. Come around here. I'm, I'm, I'm still in control for now. So there we are. We're beginning to spin. Fix it. That's it. Nose down. Perfect. Use your foot to pick up the wing. That's it. We'll do one to the right. My controls just remember. Come with me. Come with me. Okay. Fix it. No rush. It's not a nice feeling. Nah. But you're out of it. Bring the power back. That was good. That's it. Wow. Happy chat. <laughs> so my controls. Your controls. So now we just we had the briefing on the board about what it could look like, didn't we? Yes. An engine vocal. So when you come out here on your own, you've got to practice these on your own. So what I'm going to do, we're just flying along, having a good time, three and a half thousand feet, everyone's happy. When I hear the next radio call. That'll be the trigger for an engine failure. So I'm not thinking about where am I going. Would I go over there to those vineyards? No one won't help. Nah. Okay, but there is a paddock over there. Yes. Out here, there's lots of paddocks. Lots. Okay. So you can do this on your own. So it's random. I have no way of knowing. Could I get over there past that dam? It's I a bit undulating too. Yep, yep. exactly. So now that's flat. Done. So that's flat, yep. but see if we can find one here with um, power lines on it. So that's a, that's a swirl line. Yeah. That's the one we've got to avoid. Okay, and there's a lot of them out here. Yeah. They, go to, they always go to a building. It could be a shed, it could be a house, it could be anywhere. But they're dangerous. Okay? So I'm just waiting for that call because we don't know when it's going to happen. Or for now I can flip it over to Adelaide. Oh, there's my engine. Okay. okay. So now first thing, trim it all the way back. Why? I want 65 knots. I'm not even worried about the engine stop. Once I watch this settle, watching it, it'll start to come down now. So I now just, I don't have to worry about that anymore, right? Yeah. I'm not looking at the altimeter. Yeah. 
So now I've got to find somewhere that looks doable, which I'm looking at here on the right at the moment. Um, see where that silver shed is over there? Yes. See this long paddock this way? Yes. Got some funny stuff at the end of it. Yeah. But that's the way I want to land, isn't it? Uh, yes. In that direction? Yes. So as long as I set myself up to go over that funny stuff, I've got all that lovely paddock and there's no power lines in it. So now I'm downwind. We are, yep. I'm downwind, right? And I'm very high. Even that look high, doesn't it? So I see a runway going right through that paddock. Yep. Over to Adelaide. Adelaide, Adelaide approach. Number eight, uh, 7693. Engine failure, I don't know, five miles north of Gawler. Two POB. Ditching in a paddock. Yep. End of story, don't talk to them again. They'll try and engage you. Yep. Don't. So now don't lose the sight of my paddock. So now we're still high. But I'm still downwind on my... I'm not even thinking about it. I'm yep. not even looking. Yep. Okay, you don't need to panic. Life is going to be... Okay. We're actually quite calm up here anyway, because yeah, we're flying. Exactly. The wait, the plane yeah. doesn't know it's happening, Jabal. So I can turn now, but I'm going to be very high. Okay? Yep. And you can see those posts now. Yep, that's right. And we've got big, I mean, power, big, power, here. big power So lines. now I'm going to start coming around because I don't want to get too far away because I'm being blind. This is all hit and miss, yeah. but with a good sense of judgment as well. I'm still looking for a paddock over there. Could we go for that paddock over there? See how you change it? Ah, uh, no, that's don't, right. Don't, don't unless change. there's something wrong with this, yes. or it's got power lines through it we didn't see. No, I agree. Yeah. That's my runway. I've made it. Like saying, I've got a perfectly good runway back at Gawler, yeah. but I'll land somewhere else. Yeah, no, yeah, no, no, decisive. Yep. Yeah. So that's looking good to me. But now I'm on a base, aren't I? A yeah. wide base? Yes. I'm watching that paddock like a hawk. Again, now I'd say to my passengers, make sure your belt's all tightened up, yep. buckled up and whatever. Um, if necessary, go over the back if there's a cushion. Give your passenger a cushion, in case they hit their head. And by the way, passenger, when we've landed, see that silver shed over there? Yep. That's where we're going to walk when we land and we get help. Yeah. That's, 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 where, that's where you want to go, too. Yeah. So now I'm high, still. I'll look at this. Good. It looks like a long final to me, doesn't it? It does. We're a bit hot. We're uh, we're going for that paddock, aren't we? No, we're going for this one here. Okay. Ah, oh, yes. To the right of the silver yeah. shed. Yeah. Okay. So I'm watching my speed. It's looking nice. I'm just wasting time out here now, giving myself lots of options. What happens when I turn? You'll lose altitude. You'll lose altitude very quickly. So I'm going to start thinking about coming around on it. Right. So air speed's looking good. Harbour here can go on. Fuel pit's only simulation, yeah. right? Coming around. So now I'm going to make that, I think. Now I'm going to make that. So one stage of flap, full flap. But now I've got time to waste, haven't I? You yeah. have. And you've got options still. Still got options. You've got that one as well. Yeah. If I had to. Yeah. It's got power lines right across the edge of it. Yeah. I wouldn't go that yeah, way. Yeah, because, yeah. So I'm still stuck on my paddock here right in front of us. And again, if I've got the flaps that I don't want them, I can bring them up for a while. And yeah, you can do that. Yeah, of course. Absolutely. You just sink you're gonna yeah, just sink it for a while. Still not sure that we'll make it with full flaps, so we won't worry about that just yet. Now they're sink. Now we're sinking, yeah. Right. That buys us some time now. Yeah. Come up. We are nearly 700 feet, got to go. Would have made that? Yep, easy. Did we panic? Did we scream? Did no. we fall out the sky? No. And that would have been a nice paddock. Absolutely, just been reaped. Yep. You've got an engine fire. Yep. So you're in control, you're in controls. You say? Yep. My controls. My, con oh, my controls, yep. Sir? Okay. Just think about it. You've trimmed it perfectly, that's good. Now start to look for the paddock. Which way do you want to land? I want, I'm actually into the wind. I'm actually into the wind now. Correct. There's nowhere to go at the front here. Maybe that paddock out there to the left. This is your first one. Have a go. See where you go. Do you see where that road is? There's yep. a dirt road straight ahead. Yep, okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and ride into the wind on that paddock in front of that dirt road. So I'm going to, yep. I've still got a lot of height. Good. 
So I'm going to come to the left hand side. There's no there's no post there. So we're downwind. So we're downwind. Okay. Work it out yourself. This is all just you learning to judge. No right or wrong, okay? Can you see the runway you're going to land on? I can. It's an imaginary runway? Yep. Ooh. You picked that long one, haven't you? I picked that one with the, there's a couple of trees in front okay, of it. Right on. Okay, so I'm yeah. coming in at a, 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 a base. Okay. Yeah. I'm probably a little too close, so I'm going to just pick the nose yeah, out. Don't forget you've got a wind. Yeah. Don't, don't move away from it too early. Yeah. You want to leave yourself options. I just got to be conscious of those trees in front of it. No, but you can go either side, you've okay. got plenty of yeah. time. This, look, this is looking really good actually. Quite impressed. Takes a lot to impress me. <laughs> <laughs> but do you think you're going to make it? I think I'm going to make that so easily. So one stage of lap. And nose down. Yep. Now we we'll go full flap. This is where you, when you start to turn you're going to lose height, which you know about. Just aim to come into about the first third. And I'm going to go to the left of the tree. So that's good, yeah, that's good. You've got plenty of height. Just speed there, just get the nose down just a touch. Flap, good, that's fine. If you needed to, you can come here now if you needed to. Yeah. But you don't, you've got trees in the way. Good. There's some sink. Nothing you can do about that. Keep the nose coming down. I think I'll make that come back. Okay, play. power on then. Power, power, power. That's it, just keep the nose there. Now, have a look at it. Nothing wrong with it. You're, you're flying was really good. That's a crop. Yeah. So, you would have stopped very suddenly. <laughs> but, hey, you, mate, you had an engine buzz, you got out of it. Good job. Thank you. Not bad for a beginner. <laughs> I think I think the great thing about it is um, have faith the aircraft first thing. Yeah. Check back Absolutely. and then think about it. So that my first panic, <laughs> we would have done some crop dusting. <laughs> well, it is what it is. You can't tell from up there. That wasn't a bad job, kid. Thanks. So we can head back now to Gawler. So that's Kapunda there. Yeah. On the nose. Caller traffic for part. New Tango is joining on a left downwind 05 for Gawler. So we're going to be doing a um, joining the circuit. So we were using. Well, I hope you are. Yeah. So we're using runway 05. Yep. So we'll come to the left hand side, uh, but which will be the dead side because the left hand circuit. 05. So the dead side would be on this side. Correct? Is it a left hand or a right hand circuit? It's a left hand circuit. Right. Yeah. So we need to be on the on the the we need to join from the left. Correct. Correct. Joining at the end of the runway. Yep. So that we taken off doing a left. We're, we're in the downwind position now. Um, so, I would, I would keep going this way. But I don't want to be in front of people taking off. Well, what about Tuck just say? Did you hear what he said? Yeah. What did he say? He's taken off. Yeah, which yeah. way is he coming? Straight out. Correct. Right. So what are you going to do? So what, keep, what's your plan? So I'm going to keep So now we don't have to use the inbound lane if we don't want to. Because right. we're going to conflict with him, aren't we? Yes. So let's go over to the right hand side of the runway. Okay. Yep. And we can say we're over at the model factory. Okay. Right? Tracking to join downwind 05. Okay. Make that call now if you want. Uh, call a traffic, Jabiru 7693, overhead the model factory, uh, inbound to join downwind uh, runway 05, call on. Traffic can be up the phone, Tango Glider Tug Combination is just uh, taking off the extended centre line of 05. We're going to do a tight left hand circuit. So 7693. This aircraft joining uh, downwind. Yeah. 7693, roger. Yep. Is that right? Yeah. Yep. So that's, where's our trees, our, our figure of trees now? We're going to find that, don't we? No, we do. Um, uh, Don't get too close, but I might say this side. 
just over there. Okay, I'll hit for that. Watch our height, we're nearly down. We've got to watch out for that glider. Taking off as well with a tug. He should be airborne now. Oh, the spot on. I can't see him. So again, the, you know, the airspace rules are the same. Whoops. Um, basically, we hit the corner of the finger here, cross to that corner and down that. Yep. Just watch your height, you don't want to drop, drop in too much. Good. Are we doing touch and go? Yep. Yep. Bring the power back in. And 7693 for Pony Tango, present position. So 7693 about to turn final uh, 05, touch and go. Call of traffic for Pony Tango is joining a midfield crosswind for runway 05 caller. Final. I can call you on final. I call of traffic, Jabber 7693, turning final runway 05, touch and go caller. Good. Don't get down too low. Bit of power, bit of power, bit of power, bit of power, 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 power. Downwind, 05, caller, full stop. Hand on throw. Hand on throw. Yep, flaps up, full power go. Just wait for it, nose down, that's good. Come on, we're ready. Not bad on a nasty day. So what's your approach speed? 65, sorry, I've got much too. Too many things happening. <laughs> no, I'm gonna fix it, I'll fix it. Come over the runway. Waste your time, come over here. Yep. Right? Yep. There's at least one less thing you've got to worry about is getting yourself lined up there. Yep. So now you can line up on it. That's better. Doing 70, so just watch that. And use your power nicely on the way down. Done. Well done, Captain. No rush to stop. That was much better. You re you didn't realize one wheel just touched a bit of gravel, and then it just went up about that far. <laughs> you that would have kissed the ground perfectly. Then that was spot on. Just out of interest, when you're landing like that, which is yep, what will do. I find most people like now you've got power. Okay, it makes it harder to stop. Yeah, exactly. That's exactly. 